Hello there! As summer approaches in the Northern Hemisphere, I'm sure some of you are starting to think about bringing out your brightest, boldest lipsticks. Juicy orange, hot coral and fresh watermelon come to mind, but I thought I'd put together a more simple, everyday summer lip colour edit. You should wear what you want, when you want, whatever the weather, and I love a statement lip sometimes, but stereotypically summery, vibrant lipsticks aren't in my colour comfort zone for daily life. So this is a slightly summery spin on versatile wearable shades. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the website builder I use to make MatildaOnVideo.com. You can find many of my previous seasonal makeup videos in a blog post there, and those past summer edits certainly hit upon bright, saturated colours people often dive into at this time of year. As much as I wish I was someone who grabbed their best tomato red to go grocery shopping, I have more of a pattern of everyday lip colour behaviour that I'll just tweak slightly in warmer weather. Subtle tonal differences that still Still say summer to me in an understated, quieter way. So we're looking at sheer, matte and satin finishes through a little summery lens with peachy, pinky, coral, berry and terracotta tones. Starting with regular lipstick bullets in sheer, balmy and matte formulas. The ultimate summer Lisa Eldridge lipstick will always be Velvet Morning for me, her vibrant orange red matte, but day to day I get much more wear out of her luxuriously lucent sheer formula and a shade like Kitten Mischief suits warm weather nicely. It's called a light buttery caramel pink, but it comes out as a rosy peachy version of my natural lip colour, a pretty boost in such a comfortable smooth formula. I'm always covered head to toe in SPF 50, so the only type of tan I'm getting in summer is a sheer lip colour out of my bag. Glossier Ultra Lip in Trench is described as toffee brown, but this shade is so sheer and subtle and much lighter than a lot of the official images online, so it's just a hint of caramel nude warmth. The tagline is the moisture of a balm, the sheen of a gloss and the buildable colour of a tint. Very neat summary, very comfy. Thank you to Sophia Ritchie for the reminder about this fantastic formula. She wore a pink Chanel Rouge Coco Balm. You can see her complete wedding makeup breakdown in a recent video, but I'm sticking to 914 Natural Charm, a brownie nude caramel with a satin matte finish, so it has a bit more lasting power by balm standards. Buildable colour, toasty and warmer than trench, so it's certainly a summery sort of nude for me. One of these Bobbi Brown crushed lip colours is always in my handbag, but in summer I'll swap out a more muted pick like Italian Rose for something a bit bolder like Babe. A mid-tone My Lips But Better pink, one or two swipes looks like my lips when they really need lip balm and the colour has intensified a bit, but it has some brightness if you keep building it. Can't go past this easy, blotted, sheer matte formula. A couple of lip tint and stronger liquid lip options. Romance Juicy Lasting Tint first appeared in my Black Honey Dupes series. This formula came highly recommended by many of you and so did the shade 22 Pomelo Skin. This was part of the Bare Juicy series inspired by the colours of Summer Fruits, say no more. This nude peachy apricot looks so fresh and the sheen really does last well with just a little tack to it. Revisiting more Korean beauty formulas on my channel very soon. One of my everyday makeup picks earlier in the year was the Victoria Beckham Beauty Bitten Lip Tint in Poupette called a sheer soft melon so it ticks that low key summery box for a flush of natural peach. Another liquid lip tint that feels really comfortable on, it doesn't dry down in a patchy way or emphasise every tiny line on your lips, bronzed cheeks, pop of minimal melon on the lips and you're done. As someone who wore this formula to three weddings last year as a sign of how much I trust the product, this would be my suggestion if you have a summer wedding coming up. The Rouge Dior Forever Liquid Formula is long wearing, creamy and soft, dries down to feel weightless and I'm far C about liquid lipsticks. 558 Forever Grace is an elegant deep rosewood I always describe as a brighter, pinker walk of no shame. Love the colour. If you like long lasting formulas but prefer a bit of shine, I'm obsessed with Chanel Rouge Allure Lac. No need to add gloss to a matte liquid lip, this formula has a natural sheen. The formula stays slightly tacky but it doesn't feel sticky or uncomfortable. To brighten up a more muted rose or berry pick, I pat a bit of this rose pink 64 Exigence onto the centre of my lips or spread out a very light layer with my fingertips, just pouting and patting it on. 
an easy creamy crayon you can swipe on in a hurry that says laid back everyday summer lip to me Colourpop's just a tint crayons are a nice option at a great price point the shade range seems to have slimmed down slightly and some of them are on sale so i hope they're not planning to get rid of this formula city of stars is called a sheer warm coral terracotta and i think coral terracotta might be a perfect new way to describe the type of peachy nudes i'm often drawn to sweet fruity scent glossy finish light feel buildable color nars velvet matte lip pencil in dolce vita paints a picture of a relaxing sunny italian city getaway from the name alone this famous dusty rose shade has always struck me as warmer and bolder than other colors i'd usually call dusty rose there's a pinch of coral and my lips but brighter about this shade convenient creamy crayon format to throw in your bag and smudge on a little bit or build for a neater lipstick look I went back through the archives and one of my original summer makeup edits included this Clinique Chubby Stick shade Fuller Fig. Not a traditional hot weather hue, figgy shades are probably more associated with autumn and fall, but sometimes when it feels like an oven outside I just want something super light and a lazy colour on my lips I don't even have to worry about. This is that sheer pretty rose brown. Loving the fact that shades like Black Honey have encouraged people to think about deeper lip colours year round and a warm berry like 1999 Beauty Tinted Matte Balm in Terra can certainly feel summery and sun-kissed to me too. Very low maintenance multitasker, a moisturising satin matte balm in a universal plum shade for lips, cheeks and eyes, a cohesive quick and easy plummy flush I enjoyed this past summer in Australia. If this more muted summer edit was a bit understated for your liking, as I mentioned earlier, you can go back through past seasonal edits in a blog post on matildaonvideo.com and find inspiration from previous colour themes. My website is sort of the little sister of my YouTube and Instagram accounts and a great way to gather up previous topics and videos in one place like this with such easy tools to paste in a URL and the video pops right up so you can watch them all in one place if you'd like to. With summer coming up, Perhaps you're looking for a hobby and playing around with a Squarespace template could be a fun way to get those creative juices flowing. If you're looking to launch a blog, website or online store, you can visit squarespace.com Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. Let me know what your everyday summer lip colours look like. I know this is a little bit different to the usual summer content and colours around, but if you're a minimal makeup, natural lip colour lover like me, I hope you enjoyed it. Do you like going all out with bold and bright shades as often as you can, or do you look for ways to feel subtly summery day to day like this? I'd love to hear what sort of colours you're drawn to when the weather heats up. Thanks for watching. See you next time.